Même, which I guess you could translate as scumbag. No, you're the scumbag. So what is Liberation <laughs> doing? Are they completely nuts? Have they lost it? Are they yeah. insulting their readers? Bit no, what they're trying to do <laughs> is they're trying to point out how the political debate in France has turned sour in recent weeks with politicians from across the political spectrum throwing insults uh, back and forth at each other. And in their editorial, Liberation points out, look, zingers and jabs, that's part of politics. That's what makes it exciting. But things have gone too far. Things have gone below the belt. And all this is proof of the fact that the political discourse is becoming vacuous in France. And the latest uh, insult that has gotten people riled up is one that was delivered by a UMP opposition uh, politician named Henri Guénou. So he was a special advisor to uh, Nicolas Sarkozy. And he said that the judge who's investigating Nicolas Sarkozy for corruption charges, he said that he had soiled France. So mm. critics say he went way too far. Uh, and Liberation points out that the risk of all this foul language uh, is that it will push the political debate to the extreme towards populism. Certainly had an awful lot of foul language in one debate. Um, that's the uh, debate on gay marriage. That's right. And Le Figaro is looking at this anti-movement. What is their uh, next step uh, and after this huge demonstration they organized on Sunday? Well, Le Figaro says that they're getting ready uh, for uh, the next couple steps. They're planning on organizing another huge rally. And also they hope to be able to meet with uh, President François Hollande this week. Uh, in their editorial, Le Figaro points out that the arm wrestling is continuing, the numbers are continue, continuing to grow, and it hopes uh, that, well, François Hollande will take this into consideration. He's uh, set to address, give a public address on Thursday. Uh, meanwhile, La Croix uh, is surprised by the deafening silence of the government with respect to the huge outcome, uh, out, uh, the, the huge amount of people that were on the streets on Sunday. Uh, it says that the government ha has been playing it down and just saying that all these demonstrators were from the extreme right, but that wasn't the case, according uh, to La Croix. Uh, it says that the government should salute this uh, impressive revolt. And they also had quite a lot of criticism of the government, haven't they, for the heavy-handed way they dealt with some of the protesters' tear gas being used. That's right. Tear gas was used uh, to stop some people from breaking uh, onto uh, sections of the street they weren't allowed to go onto. Unfortunately, there were some families who were caught up uh, in this tear gra gas, and uh, including uh, one woman named Christine Boutin. Now, she's a famous politician here in France. Uh, now, she uh, says that the tear gas made her faint, and here's a photo of her that's been making the rounds of the internet. Uh, now, a lot of people who are in favor of gay marriage say this was just and a big exaggeration on her part. Uh, and in fact, they've called on people on Tumblr to uh, bend it like Bhutan and uh, give their own version of, of the, their fainting <laughs> due to this uh, a tear gas. So here are some really good ones. As, as you can see, they stage their own dramatic photos there. Perfectly upright. Um, the situation in Cyprus. That's right. Uh, La Croix is wondering what lessons we can, we can learn from uh, Cyprus, whether it's economic, political, or in terms of organization. Uh, there's a good cartoon in Liberation that points out uh, what all this means for Europe. And you see uh, Merkel tugging on a piggy bank uh, in the shape of Cyprus. Come on, Cyprus, move. And uh, Vladimir Putin there is uh, making his way out, saying, wait, if it's like this, I'm out of here. And so uh, and Liberation actually wonders, uh, where actually can people who want to maybe evade taxes. Where can they go now that Cyprus isn't so attractive? Well, it turns out that other destinations like Malta, Monaco, and according to Liberation, London. So there you go. And finally, Flo does sport. Um, France versus Spain tonight. That's right. Hot rivals says uh, 20 minutes, so France versus Spain. It's an important game for uh, qualifying for uh, the 2014 World Cup. And L'Equipe Sports Daily, let's look at, take a look. It says, whatever, ha whatever happens, it's going to be a dream evening for the French team. L'Equipe, the paper that Flo picks up first when she does the uh, press review here on France Lancat. Thanks a lot, Flo. <laughs> we know with the uh, French papers. Here's the news headline. Cyprus banks set, set rather to stay.